PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete to annoy you here again. Hey, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I'm quite cheap and I like to have a look at stuff that's cheap and see if it actually works. I got this in the mail today, guys. It's the cheapest pair of welding glasses or goggles or whatever the hell you want to call them that I could find online. About uh, 14 bucks, I think they were. Uh, something ridiculously expensive like that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to have a look at them and we'll have a look and see if they actually work. Yeehaw! Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day, man, at peachtools.com. And let's see if these things actually work, eh? Hee <laughs> These took about three weeks to get here, guys. I just brought them off Amazon, you know. I just want the cheapest pair of glasses I could find and actually see if we could actually make the things work or what you get for your money. Well, it's a nice little case, as you can see, but I mean, I wouldn't judge anything by a case. Um, quite plasticky looking guys, but what the hell do you expect for 14 bucks? I'm not really interested in the plastic. I also want to see if they work or they don't work. And um, what have we got? We've got some adjustable earpieces here, which is quite handy if you want to put them over the top of your glasses or something. I don't know if any of you fellas are old gits like me, but you have to wear bloody glasses, so I need something that's going to slide over top of my glasses. See, and these sit there all right, actually. Just the earpieces a little bit. It'll be a little bit better, Pete. So we'll just pull the earpieces out a little bit, not too much. Yeah, they just all right. Yeah, they fit over the glasses good. Awesome. Well, so far so good, guys, hey? I don't know if you can see that guys, it says auto darkening filter from 3-11. And according to my instructions, this the minimum it has is 3 and the maximum it has is 11 shading. And it's supposed to automatically adjust when you strike your arc. So that would lead you to believe that you could MIG weld, flux core weld, arc weld, depending on your voltage of course, with the same pair of glasses. Anyway, I'm going to run some welds and you can have a look through them and we'll see what we think, eh? I also see it comes with a little bit of a bungee strap here guys, so obviously you can take the ear pieces off here, just unclip them, clip that on there and you can have it like a bungee around your head, which is probably a good idea as well, especially if you do a lot of leaning forward and your glasses tend to fly off, or mine do anyway, maybe my head's not big enough. <laughs> Mind you, I've never been accused of that before Pete, that your head's not big enough. <laughs> so guys, what we'll do now is just give you a bit of a demo, I'll give you a demo look through the glasses, I'll do flux core, I'll do solid core, and I'll do a little bit of arc welding, and we'll see if it does actually uh, work properly. Yeehaw! Mario right, guys, this is looking through the glasses, and we're welding solid core wire. Yeehaw! Right guys, now we'll do arc. See guys, I'm burning holes through things, but it's really hard to hold the camera at the same time. Seems to work alright guys, yeehaw! So maybe the shading does work. So guys, now let's have a go at flux core, yeehaw! Well, I think it certainly works, guys. All in all, guys, what do I reckon? Yeah, I reckon they're worth the 14 or 15 bucks. I mean, what do you get for 14 or 15 bucks? It seems to do what it's supposed to do. The only thing I'd uh, remind you guys is to make sure you cover your face with something if you're just using goggles only. The original reason why I brought these was because I was doing a little bit of welding underneath the car, and you just can't get under there with the full-size welding helmet like this. So that's where I went for these, but I didn't want to spend too much money, but I'm quite impressed, actually. I'll put some links in the description below if you want to buy a pair of these. So would I buy them again, guys? Well, actually, yeah, I bought two pair because, you know me, I run over shit and I just squash it and do all sorts of things with it. I mean, for the money, two pair, nothing. Put a comment in the description below if you can find anything cheaper, but 14 or 15 bucks is about the best that I could find online. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com. And we'll see you next time, mate. Eh? Bye. Peach tools dot com dot com dot com